Blake Snell and Cody Bellinger, high ceiling, low floor. What do you pay these guys? And they wanted right. these blockbuster <clears throat> contracts. Both, by the way, I know they're represented by Scott Boris, so they didn't get the massive contract I'm sure their agent wanted. But they're both the highest salaried employees for their ball clubs, the Cubs and the yeah. Giants. So they, they're making money. Well, you know, when you look at Bellinger, I mean, he, he speaks to being back and, and, and happy with the Cubs. When you look at these situations, I think it boils down to guys wanting their worth and are willing to wait as long as they possibly can. Now, I, look, I, I went through the process. I don't want that stress. These guys are willing to take that stress because they already have a lot of money. So, you, 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 you know, you take it on the head and you, and you get to camp and you figure out when you figure out. But I do believe Belgium's in the right place with the Cubs. This helps the Giants contend in the tough NL West. And you wait, and I don't know where the contracts are going, BK. I don't know if this is going to be a trend that stays around. Mm -hmm. But I think it makes sense if you are unsure of the production you're going to get from these guys long term. Right. So here's the issue. Like, look, Snell last year, if he does this, you're, you're gold. Like, strikeout rate is third in the game. He misses bats. He was a Cy Young Award winner. He's a, he was great last year. It's the previous four that you have to worry about. That's what you I don't know about. if you were about that, Yonder, because... Or you were about I, No, look. I'm I know. You, you're going to get there in a second. <laughs> oh. But I think I, he, he's, shown, he's shown that he can go out there and understand what yeah. lane he's in. Yeah. And if you stay in that lane and understand who you are, you get the success we saw from you him. You think he turned, he's turned the corner? I think he's turned okay. the corner because possible. he believes who he is. Very look, possible. I saw Blake in San Diego all year. By the way, I never thought he would be wearing a Giants uniform. That, that's just not where I thought this was going to go. But... BK, I think for me, he's a guy that the question mark is going to be, when is he going to pitch? When is he going to be ready? He's at 60 pitches right now with zero adrenaline. He, he hasn't really gotten the grind of being on his feet. You, you, don't, you don't win a division in April. You can lose one, though. Guarantee True. that. Right. You can definitely True. lose one. Yeah. So for me, there's a lot of pressure added. And he said it very clearly. He said, hey, mm -hmm. my only focus is what? I got to get ready. I got to make sure I'm ready to go. I got to know what the Giants' way is. But for me, I, I look at this lineup. I look at this roster. It just doesn't do it for me. It still doesn't do it for me. Even with Blake Snell, just doesn't do it for me. I this they, is a team, uh, as a bullpen, they had the most innings in all of Major League Baseball. They got taxed all throughout. Doesn't this help? Are you get, 100, you get 180 though? innings. Heck, that yeah, helps. Well, yeah, yeah, it helps. Yeah, it helps. But, so what are you talking about? But you can get 27 outs, but who's going to hit? Well, look, you There's can't, a lot you, of question marks everywhere there. It's question sure. marks, but it's question marks on every team in that division other than the Dodgers. Yeah. And yeah, so when you yeah, think about right. who's next, to me, it's the D-backs because I think one thing you look at with them is they have speed and the guys that have, you know, uh, back-to-ball skills are pretty good. So when you start having those type of things, speed kills. Speed causes havoc on the base pass. You can go first or third score run in the first inning, alleviate the pressure for the starting pitcher by going out right. there and scoring a couple runs. That's what I see with the D-backs. When you talk about those teams getting close, mm -hmm. the other questions are with the Padres and the Giants as far as hitting. When I, when I look at the when I look at the D-backs, I think they're on their way to a, to a, to, a, to another level. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so too. They, they had a good offseason, by the way. May I show you the Dakota projections to see where they are right now? Because this is tight. And by the way, there are wild card spots to be had in the National League, much tougher in the American League. But here, if we're uh, Pakota has the Dodgers at 101, 19 shy of what Cliff Floyd's Pakota projections. <laughs> 20, oh, excuse me, 29, 130. 130 I don't even do the math. Selling me short. Yeah, they did. Like they're very conservative. <laughs> but uh, here's where I think it is fat. Look, I mean, Pakota is like a range anyway. Like you're just you're yeah, checking Pocota. the horse power of an engine. So the Giants at 85, Diamondbacks at 84, Padres at 82, it's essentially the same. You know, I mean, it's going to play out this way. Yeah, yeah, last year they had the Padres winning 100 games and it didn't happen. Pakota, if you got the, the fantasy ball numbers, <laughs> give them to me because you don't know what's going to happen. Well, in that's April. the you thing. Don't know what's well, then if you're thinking that, then you're thinking the team that has been not as the more than the sum of their parts has been the Padres. Correct. Right. They've right. lost so, a lot of one-run games, too. That's, that's correct. But it's well, not correct. as flukish. Yeah. They lose those games. They, lose they lost a close one today. Yeah, I don't know if it's yeah. still – yeah. No, I don't know if it's still that way. I, I would – I think this – it's possible. Let me go this way because you might agree with me. I don't think he does. He, yeah, if you, with won. Chapman and Snell, it might very well – I could see an area where they, the Giants go from 80 to 85 wins, and that puts them in wild-card contention as opposed to being out. I think, I think those are two big signings. That's all you're trying to do. And they have Bob Melvin. And I think this team plays to his strength. As far as when you saw him last year, I don't think the Stars plays to Bob Melvin's strength. I think the players that he has right now with the Giants plays to his strength. He, he won in Oakland with not a lot of superstars. So when you talk about this team, I think he can get the most and the max out of what he has in that clubhouse. And that's all you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So when you look at, and you mentioned this yesterday, when you look at what the Giants are trying to do, catch the baseball and pitch. So when you go out there and get Blake Snell, even though he might not be ready to May, you're still talking about a guy when he gets out there, 
Let's pitch. Let's catch the baseball. You bring in Matt Chapman. You, you, you sort of shorten the game. You talk about the bullpen getting taxed, but you still, it's a new year. Mm. So when you start playing the game differently, you start having guys in the clubhouse that understand that, hey, look, if we get to 85 games, we we're, got a shot to get to the postseason. The next, right? Yeah, you got a shot. That, that, that said, I think you're saying you like Arizona out of those three. I, I do. I, I kind of do, too. I kinda do you do like do Arizona that. over San Diego? And even yes. over the Giants? Because, yes. because, because San Diego doesn't have speed, and they don't play with speed. I think when you look at what, what the game is right now, speed is coming back to the yeah. game with the right players. You can't just hey, say, I have speed, no, not to steal bases, so, or go first or third, or no. They're young. When they they take well, they have the most yeah. speed in that division. Yeah. I, I would think they're even above the Dodgers in speed as well. Mm -hmm. But you still got to gotta pitch, you got to catch the ball, and you got to hit the ball. Well, they look, no, they, they, they lost look, they look Juan Soto, bro. Like, for me, yeah. Juan Soto is – you can't replace that, and nobody on that team can replace what Juan Soto brings. Yeah. You, it, you may lose a big player, but that doesn't necessarily make you a worse team. You can be a better team for it. You think they're a better team with losing him? I think they're a better team. I, well, by the way, I, I would agree with team. you. The problem is the 600. I think they're a better Wait, team. I agree with you. I think it's the 600 yeah, innings that are gone. Walker's gone. Lugo's gone. Snell's gone. Like, they lost a ton. Martinez is gone. They lost a ton of innings. We'll see you in September. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well. Yeah, I, I, we saw it last year. They were not. They were nowhere to be found. They, they thought they were going to go to the World Series yeah. last year. You believe they're a better yeah. team without Soto? No. They're a better I, team. No, saying that. They're a better I, I'm saying, team. I, I, it's possible that not going, better players. going Soto was the wrong route. But the, are they a better team than they were last year? No. Because they no. lost Soto and all those pitchers. They lost too much of their engine. Their engine's got 600 innings yeah. of a like a 2-9 ERA. Michael King, Vasquez, Brito, Cease, Musgrove, Darvish, yeah, how did uh, Darvish I mean, pitch we, last we, year? We can, how did we Mus can be Musgrove okay. pitch 97 innings last year? Darvish was barely uh, league average. I mean, you love him. How many wins for the for Padres? Go ahead. Go on the line. Over 85. Over 85. And you have 130. For this. So, the, so that's good. They'll We're getting in the middle. 45 games out of first place. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the D-backs are winning 88 to 90. Uh, I'm with you. On 88 that. to 90. It's yeah. Arizona. Listen, it's going right. to be a battle. Yeah.